You are a Lord of the Rings fan, but are reasonably convinced that the hobbits are not a real race. And then paleontologists and evolutionary biologists slap this into your face. And voila, now hobbits exist. Hold on. You shall not pass. Let's start with a nice, clean family tree. That's clean? Oh well. Common question. If humans evolved from monkeys, why are monkeys still around? That's because we didn't evolve from them. We shared a common ancestor more than 20 million years ago, whose progeny adapted to different niches until eventually splitting into the gibbon and great ape families. For human, that niche became the grasslands of Africa, engaging in persistence hunting, or literally chasing your prey till it drops dead from exhaustion. It's around eight to nine million years ago that the Gorillini and the Hominini split, a split between knuckle walkers and those who adopted bipedalism. And four to seven million years ago, we find the first traces of primitive bipedal movement in Sahelanthropus and Ororin. 3.3 million years ago, we find a new genus with both ape and human-like features. Lucy, a famous female specimen of Australopithecus afarensis, was discovered in 1974 and named after a Beatles song. She was proof of true bipedal motion and upright gait. Coming to genus Homo, an interesting species is the Homo nalidi, discovered in Rising Stars Cave of South Africa. Their small cranial size challenged the belief that a big brain meant more complex cognitive functions. No tools have been found associated with them, but hand adaptations do implicate tool use. Finally, coming to Frodo Baggins, uh, I mean Homo floresiensis. The 2004 discovery of the dwarf species, 1.1 meter in height, traces its roots back to more than 700,000 years ago, indicating that the human migration out of Africa took place much before the one predicted. Found on Flores Island, Indonesia, they're closely related to Homo habilis, arguably the first Homo species, and evolved from Homo erectus, probably a product of insular dwarfism. That's when a species becomes a dwarf due to lack of resources, predators, competition, and limited area on isolated islands. So Flores was a man, huh? What picture does our family portrait paint? Homo sapiens are the last surviving human species, the others having perished or intermingled, their genes still alive in our genome. Evolution has gone from a puddle of primordial soup to the last universal common ancestor, to us. We are not the pinnacle of evolution but just one of its ever-evolving, wondrous products, another thread in this grand tapestry, forging our history through fire, tools, and a complex brain.